All right. So we'll start with this uh, model. Okay. Basically, that one as a normal 3D, you can zoom in, zoom out, pan, and then rotate. So that's easy to navigate. And then we can start with adding with the uh, uh, with the uh, element here, like a column. So here you have some presets on here, and then the profile we have the library. So there's a lot of uh, library which one uh, you're using for the eye section. Okay. So at the moment I, I have uh, this uh, example. All I have to do is to specify the uh, uh, the top and the bottom. Uh, it will uh, it will be the height of the column. So I just simply pick this point, and then you have already the column there. So as quick as that one. So you don't need to model that one to draw that one in 3D. But basically, uh, it already uh, model that one in 3D way as an object. It's not just a 3D view, but if you inquire this one as uh, the part, then you can see that the uh, the properties of this element. So you will get the height, the width, uh, the thickness of the planche, the the weight, the volume, the area. So everything will be there. So all the information in that particular element, you can easily capture that one. Okay, so let me just continue. So if I have another uh, a size of this one, I can predefine the, the height here. I can change the height to the 3 meters and then the size is different, LGA 300. So I have this, uh, this column, as you notice here. I can draw that one in a 3D view or I can just simply make a plan view and then do that one if you're not used to the 3D way. But in Tecla structure, we always, uh, I mean, since we are in the 3D environment, it's better to go to the 3D. Okay, and then let's say, for example, I'm going to add a beam here. So I'll just simply uh, uh, load this uh, beam. So I'll just simply pick this point, and then let's say if this one is five meters, if you notice five meters, then I have the uh, the slope uh, rafter. So I just pick this point, and then maybe I'll just choose the another 6.5. So I'm going to have the uh, the rafter there. So you can easily, if you notice here, you can easily model that one in in 3D view. And then with that frame, I can just simply copy and then put the, the value, let's say 5 meters, and then uh, quantity of 5, just simply copy, then you have already the whole frame. And then here, additional, uh, 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 additional member here, I will just add a beam here. I just pick one, two, so let's say this one also here. Or even I can just simply uh, uh, copy this, this position to... Uh, uh, this position here and even here yeah so here perpendicular going back here perpendicular so with that modeling technique it's very easy to uh, to copy that one so four copy and then you have all the the whole frame now once you have the frame of course uh, you can add more uh, uh, more uh, elements here like a purlins, a bracing, that one is also can. But uh, the, the good thing is once you have this, this uh, model, then you can add the details. So the details is the most important part because this is what you're going to publicate. So let's start with the, uh, uh, with the column base plate. So here, uh, as Daniel mentioned, here we have this uh, library. If you type here base plate, then you will have a different base plate here, whether it is a circular base plate or rectangular or a base plate for the eye section. You simply double click and then you can see the uh, component here where, can, where you can specify the thickness of the plate, then the uh, number of holes or the uh, diameter of holes. If you want to add a, a anchor rod, you can apply that one. And then pick the column and pick the position. You have now already the detailed base plate. And then if you're happy with that uh, result, okay, if you notice here, I have a smaller, uh, smaller column here. Then the good thing here, because of the intelligence of the component, all I have to do is to select everything and then pick one point. So all the column will have the base plate in no time. So if you notice here, Imagine how quick you can add the base plate. And here, it will adapt according to the size of this one. If you specify, let's say, the distance of this hole, of this bolt to this plunge is 100, whatever the size of this column, it's always 100. And also, if you want to change this, this one, you can still go back to the component and then modify the, uh, the value of the, uh, the distance of the bolt from the plunge or from the web. 
and uh, also uh, for the connection here let me try to add a hunch connection here so again as like uh, the base plate i have the component here you can specify all the parameters here all right so you can have the hunch the, the distance of the hunch the number of the bolt the distance of the hole you simply apply and then pick the column and pick the uh, the beam you're going to have the uh, hunch connection here and if you have a standard connection let's say for example in this case uh, you don't need to pick every single joint to add this connection what we have is we can just simply select everything by the way uh, before you add a connection we have the ability here to class check so class checking means it will tell you if there's some clashing between the two elements so let's say for example here it will add okay this column and the beam is clashing to the web so this one column and raptor it's clashing to each other it will highlight all right so if you press this one it will highlight those elements that is clashing to each other all right now uh enable for us to remove the uh, the clash of course we need to select everything and then i can now add the auto connection auto connection meaning i'm still using the uh, the library here the connection library here available in uh, my component but auto connection i will set some rules that it will identify uh, what kind of connection should I use if, in case that if it is raptor and raptor connection or column and beam connection. So what I do is select everything and then on my uh, component here, I have this create auto connection. So this create auto connection, all I have to do is to select, let's say the basic and the factory default, just simply hit create connection. So if you notice here in no time, uh, the system will automatically assign the uh, oh, okay uh, fit work area or redraw. So you have now the auto connection. So I don't know why there's a connection there. Okay, anyway, maybe I'll just delete this one and I think ah okay because of because of this uh, okay again. Maybe I'll select this one and then create auto connection. All right. So I think that one is because of this, uh, this one. Okay. So anyway, if that one is the case, then I can just simply add that one manually. So here, just simply select one, two. Yeah. So quickly, you can add the connection. So now. You will notice that each and every single part will have uh, the connection. And then the good thing with this connection, uh, if you change the size of this beam, right? So let's say this beam, I change this one to a bigger size. Let's say HEA 500, uh, for example, HEA 500, modify. So automatically, the connection will react to the changes. Okay, so it's very easy to, to, uh, to change. It will adapt already because of the uh, uh, intelligence of the connection. Now, uh, with this uh, model, I can just simply create or perform the numbering. So after performing the numbering, the system automatically assign the piece mark to each and every element. So meaning every element, you will see that there will be a piece mark. So here you have, you can see this B29, okay? The other one will be, uh, let's see, what is this? B32. So you don't need to put the number in every single member because the system will take care of that one. But again, having said that, the system also has the ability, if you want to force the numbering, you can you can put it manually if you like. But uh, if that one is available in the system, why don't we uh, just use that one so that we save our time. Now, once you have this uh, uh, model, so here, if you want to get the, the whole quantity or to quantify, okay? So we have the, the uh, report that we can create here that it will give us the automatic. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to see the, the bill of material. So I can show the uh, assembly part list and then create from all. So one click of a button and that's it. See, you have already the, the whole bill of material. So imagine, each and every uh, plate here or material here are 
created by the system. We don't need to go to each and every connection and then uh, create and uh, calculate the size of the material. So the system will take care of that one. If you want to know the, uh, the assembly list only, only those assembly lists, so this is the total assembly list. So meaning I have 24 beam, I have uh, four columns, similar size, similar uh, marking. So all in all, I have 79 assemblies in this model. And uh, also, if you want to calculate the, the bolts, okay, bolt list, imagine for the bolt, huh, if you want to know the number of bolts here, you need to count one by one if you're doing it manually. But in this case, all you have to do is to click bolt list, create from all, and that's it. So you have the total number of bolts. So 20 dia bolt with a size of uh, length is 50, 60, 65, and so on. And then this is the quantity. For the 20 dia with the length of 50, then you have 100, 196 pieces and so on. Okay, so that's uh, automatically the system will, will do that one for us. Now, for the drawing, I, I can uh, create now the, uh, the general arrangement drawing. So let's say here I have the GA drawing and then look for the, uh, maybe I'll use the erection steel and then here for the view, I can uh, put maybe uh, 70. Apply and OK, apply and OK. Then uh, create drawings. So let's say, for example, I have the 3D. I have the uh, maybe grid A, grid A, and then I have the plan at 3 meters, and then I have the uh, grid 1. So I have three views here that I'm going to create uh, a draw. Uh, I'm going to put in a drawing sheet. So I will put that one in. I will just simply create that one. And then as you can see here, the system will automatically create the drawing for us. Yeah, I think this one is too big. So maybe I will just simply change the, the view here. Instead of uh, 70, I'll just put it 80 so that it will fit to my, uh, uh, what do you call that? It will fit to, okay, arrange to my drawing sheet. Okay, so that is the... Uh, that is the drawing, the erection drawing. So with all the piece marking, the dimensions are there as well, right? And also, if you want to, uh, to, to have the details, let's say, for example, this particular uh, element, you want to have a blow up detail here. We have this view where, okay, maybe I'll just go to this one. Oh, yeah, that one is okay, fine. So this one, I will create the detail view so pick that point, this point, and then here, detail view. Since this one is a detail view, of course, we can uh, uh, we can change the uh, um, what I call that the scale of this. Maybe one is to twenty. All right, one is to twenty. Modify, yeah. Apply and okay. And then if you want to have a uh, section view here, yeah. So this this and this so this one will be the section view and the good thing is here this section view is something like a live view huh? meaning if I move this view here look what will happen so no base plate if I move here okay or if I move here it will show only the shear key and and also only the uh, what do you call that the anchor or if I stretch the uh, view depth, then it will show all, right? Okay, so this is, uh, the, the system automatically create this one for, for us. So meaning, even this one is a 2D, it's it looks like a uh, 3D as well because you can capture all those information. And now, uh, once you have this general arrangement drawing, then we, we go to the, uh, the publication drawing. So publication drawing meaning, this drawing is the one that we send to the publication, so meaning it will have more details on it. So if I create a drawing, assembly drawing, okay, so meaning uh, I think I have already created the drawing, but maybe I'll just uh, uh, column, maybe I'll uh, delete this one first. Okay, let me set up my let me set up my column first before I create the drawing so that it will be much better. So here, if I go to the uh, assembly drawing, I will just simply load the column, 
column, apply, and OK. So now, here, create uh, assembly drawing. So there will, it will be a column drawing here at the bottom. Yeah, so here, just double click on this. So look what will happen. There you go. See, this one is fully detailed drawing with all the dimensions for your publication. So in your publication shop, you just follow all these dimensions. Everything will be fitted. Yeah, the holes distance, and then the cutting of the uh, the, the plates. So this one will, uh, uh, of course, the publicator will autom will just simply follow this uh, uh, cutting of the plates and then fitting. So these are the fitting dimensions. This these are the detail dimension and. The best thing is you have the bill of material here calculated by the system. So the bill of material, as you can see here, you have the piece marking here to four pieces of 1106. This is the plate that you need. You have the total weight here. This column is 768 in kilo, kilogram. Okay. So as well as the uh, other... Uh, uh, drawing let's say for example you want uh, to have this uh, this beam okay so just simply uh, set up this drawing assembly and then look for the maybe uh, maybe beam yeah beam just uh, apply and okay and then create again the assembly drawing okay so here as you can see you can open the beam. So this is the beam drawing with all the welding and the bill of material. And since the uh, the detail of the plates are uh, not shown here, actually, you if you wanna, you can select this this plate, right? Select this plate, right click on it. You can see that there is a uh, what do you call that? Create single part view. In the drawing, it will create the the detailed drawing of the plate see it will give you the uh, the cutting details of that plate so here this tip in there if i select this one and then create part view it will create also the detail of that particular steepener so no need for you to draw because everything the system will uh, will draw for for you and here the bill of material will be created uh, automatically So if also if you want to have a uh, uh, what do you call that um, let's say a ladder, we have also the uh, ability to create that one using our component. So here you have the uh, parts, all right. So apply. And, oh, oh sorry, uh, the material not catalog. Okay, so the material will be okay. So just simply click here. Maybe I have a, a 450 here and then go down. Maybe this one is three meter and there you go. So you can have this uh, ladder. It's a, it's a bit short because it's only three meters. Okay, but anyway here, if you want to move that one, uh, maybe another uh, this meter then it, this this will be your ladder in case that you have a and then the position of this one you can always change that one on uh, I think under this rotation I guess yeah something like this yeah. so you can always add this uh, ladder and all other accessories even the the, the panel huh? so here uh, I have this panel here if I pick from uh, maybe from this point to to this point, just uh, just an example. So here, um, maybe left, and then maybe front, something like this. So if you're happy with that one, just simply copy linear, and then from uh, maybe from uh, this point to to this point. So something like this. So 
So you're going to have a roofing here. And then whatever you create here, the good thing is in your drawing. Yeah. So here under the document manager. So in the drawing, if you open again this drawing, so that one will be updated. See here? It's updated. So you have already the uh, the roof here and then see as the 3D. So you have now the, the GI, the roof and also the, the ladder. Will. So your drawing is always updated, whatever you change. So let's say, for example, um, for the uh, column. So I don't know where what is the column. Ah, okay. So this is the column that I have created, right? So this column, let's say, for example, I change the size of the column. So if I change the size of the, of the column to 500, so look, just modify. Okay, so that one increase. And then let's say, for example, this one, I, I move. I move to, let's say, go down to negative 500. Move. There you go. So now if I select this column, I need to run the numbering. So this column that I have created, so this one will be updated. Yeah, so this one is HEA 500. And then here, the location of this one. Okay. But again, because of the, uh, it recreates this column, maybe because I just want to show you that there is something like a cloud. So maybe I, I just move this one again. Move, move again, 500, go down 500. And then here, uh, get the column, perform numbering. So as you can see here, yeah, you will, uh, uh, there should be a cloud here that uh, to see that there is a revision, but it seems, ah, yeah, ah, no, no, no. Why that doesn't show the, the cloud? Anyway, maybe I did not turn on, but but that one, if you notice that the dimension is always updated to the uh, uh, the position that you change from the model. Yeah. And here, it's always updated as well. So that's the uh, uh, how the Tecla structure works. Uh, as you can see, uh, you can easily model that one and then add those information the things that you like and it the the drawing will automatically created by the system